Folks, it is that time. We are drawing near to the end and a new beginning of sorts. Companies, Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon, to name a few, have already made uh, announcements and provided warnings of more layoffs and job cuts as we progress. And it is time. These companies are going to be analyzing the data, looking at the numbers, reconciling, and ultimately... Uh, making some drastic changes as they push towards a new policy change and revamping of performance rated metrics, which is something I really want to talk to you guys about more, which I will in just a moment with a new update and announcements being made that I want to share with you from CEOs from these major corporations, these companies. Folks, these are the same companies that were providing huge uh, panic attacks and scares at the same time when the railroad companies and the railroad union workers were threatening to strike, uh, ultimately putting a major damp and crimp on the supply chain and ultimately these companies' abilities to produce sales revenue and profit. But first, I want to share something with you guys that is of real, uh, a real importance to me that I've discussed with you guys in the past, but if you yourself personally or you know anyone else who has been affected by uh, the negative effects and outcomes of what is transpiring in our economy right now at this time, and more so, more than likely projected to happen in the future, please share this information with them. Uh, everybody needs somebody to talk to. And it's not an easy thing to go through, but you know, job loss can't. You can recover from it. Uh, financial despair, we can uh, work and through it, and make sure that we have plans and prepare uh, for these warning signs that are being broadcasted uh, widely and loud and loud and clear. Hopefully, you guys can hear. But there's a link in the description for anybody who needs someone to talk to. Uh, professional help is available, online therapy. Uh, there's, there's no shame in it. Uh, it's better to have somebody to talk to, especially if you feel as though you or, or someone you know or friend, family member, loved one could use that aid and assistance. Please uh, provide that to them. And also, if you and or a friend or family member or anybody you know has experienced uh you know, suffering a financial hardship due to job loss and or are interested in uh, building out a plan and a strategy to prevent and avoid the negative consequences that could occur from job loss. Again, please feel free. Join us with the folks in the network exclusive content where we are discussing uh, opportunities, daily opportunities and updates on ways and how people can immediately have access to uh, additional income sources, uh, producing passive income streams and taking control of your financial future and freedom. And most importantly, security. Preparing and preparation for these warning signs is of huge importance. And folks, CEOs of these major companies have made some troubling announcements and warnings. The writing is on the wall. Uh, as we move forward in just a few days, we're going to see some major changes come about uh, as the um, marketing strategies and positions and, 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 and new business models and uh, directions that these folks are going are going to see some intense changes and uh, evolution, so to speak. We've been talking about the evolution and the cycles of business, and here we are, folks, Major CEOs are issuing issuing warnings. Companies like Amazon, Walmart, Best Buy, J.C. Penney, Bed Bath and Beyond, Costco, folks, all these companies CEOs are paying attention to the dollars and cents. They're looking at the balance sheets. They're looking at black, red, and green. Those are the only colors they see, and they are already putting in place performance measuring metrics and issuing. Uh, and, and finalizing the issuance of new employee handbooks and policies as they relate to the uh, re revisions of performance-based metrics that are ultimately going to not, more than likely not necessarily dictate your, your, your ability to earn your income in a bonus, but more so your ability to maintain employment as they are going to be continuously looking to make cuts 
thin the herd, reduce their overhead operating expense, cut down on the manpower and, 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 and payroll expenses incurred with these employees. And they're looking to uh, budget and tighten down, buckle down, and brace for this recession, this, this, this long recession uh, and during these high inflationary times. Now, these performance metrics are going to be tracked, no doubt about it. And they're going to be watching folks like a hawk. More than likely, we're going to see more of this uh, of this um, retraining or uh, cross training that we've spoke about in previous videos, where you will more than likely find yourself in a situation where your employer is going to uh, engage in mandatory cross training so that multiple employees can do the jobs of multiple employees ultimately to the point of which they'll have the ability to cut the manpower and uh, lay people off and fire folks and terminate at the drop of a hat at a moment's notice without any negative effects to the business because they've already pre-planned and pre-trained folks to be able to do other folks' jobs. With that, like I said, they're tracking your performance, which is something else of importance because not just your employer and the company you work for and your boss, these CEOs, these major corporations are tracking your performance, but so are the healthcare industries. Now, I talked about this on a previous video. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, there are some interesting things going on with our personal health care and health information and data. Uh, specifically as it relates to Web3 and some other te technology advancements and developments that are coming out. And the question I have to ask you guys is, how do you feel about this? What do you think about not only these, these jobs and these companies and these employees tracking your performance, uh, ultimately putting your job on the line, perhaps putting the uh, high level, high standard of 100% efficiency as a minimum, zero tolerance for errors or mistakes, potentially meaning the difference in you having a job and receiving a paycheck and or not. However, how do you feel about this in the healthcare industry where your information is being shared, tracked, uh, analyzed, and ultimately um, compiling this data while there is a possibility that you, we all could actually, not just you, we all could be taking advantage of our own data and profiting from it and making money from it. Again, folks, these are the things, some of the things, but more importantly, a lot of the things that we do discuss within the network, the exclusive content for the members of the network, money-making opportunities, but also changes that we are seeing happening in, the, in our economy, in the country, around the world, and as it affects us, our finances, our dollars, our savings, our investments, our retirement, etc etc but the question is is if this perhaps maybe much like these companies and these ceos are making these major changes and and rolling out these new uh policies and standards perhaps maybe we'll see that too in the healthcare industry and then at that point maybe the opportunity to profit from it will be gone so wouldn't you rather profit from it now while you could while it's still available while it's still an option I'm not saying one way or the other that's going to happen. I'm just kind of curious. My wife and I were having this conversation while we were on this drive heading up into Atlanta from Florida. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I got to actually get out and uh, head inside because they've already left me. And uh, I think they're they're doing some Christmas shopping here or something, but along with 9,000 other people. But let me know what you guys think, okay? You guys comment down below. And again, remember, if you need somebody to talk to, everybody needs somebody to talk to. Links in the description. And if you're interested in building out passive income streams and, and side hustles and building businesses for beginners and investing for beginners and making money on the side and, 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 and building out portfolios for beginners, that information is available for the members of the network as well.